Hi, it's your math facilitator Naomi Andreg, and I wanted to do an example of a systems of equations where we're going to solve by graphing and where the equations are given to us um, in standard form. Now here's our equation, or our, our set of equations, our system of equations. They're both in standard form with the x's first and then the y's. Um, set equal to a number. And you can see this one wouldn't be bad if you if you're familiar with the elimination method. It's not a bad one to solve using the elimination method either. Um, so graphing these two equations. Some people prefer to take the equations, go through the work of putting them into slope intercept form, and then graphing them using the slope and um, the y-intercept. And you can do that, but that's not how I graph this type of equation. If I'm given this type of an equation, I find two points, and the two points I find are the x and the y-intercept because they're easy to find. Um, so doing that to find the x-intercept, we know the x-intercept is on the x-axis. So the y is zero. You know, we already know what the y value is um, from, from the start. And then we just have to imagine putting the y in here into this equation, and then we'd have 2x plus 0 equals 12, which is just 2x equals 12. And then we have a fairly simple equation to solve. If 2 times a number is 12, that number has to be 6. So that means that x is 6, and that's our x-intercept. The y-intercept works exactly the same way, only the y-intercept, it's on the y-axis over here, which means the x value is 0. So for the y-intercept, we always have 0 something. Um, and we just replace the x in the equation with 0, or imagine replacing the x with 0. Then this part of the equation would be 0. We'd have 0 plus 3y is 12, which means just 3y is 12. 3 times what is 12? 3 times 4 is 12, so y has to be 4. So from that, we have... Um, we have the intercepts, two points on this particular line, and two points are all that is necessary to graph it. So I would go over here to the graph. I'd find 6, 0, which is right here. It's over 6, up 0 from the origin. Click it, and then I would drag over to my second point, which is 0, 4 on the y-axis. It's the y-intercept, um, and that's another solution to this equation. Now you can see there are all sorts of solutions, like this is a solution, 6, 0, but also 3, 2 is a solution, 0, 4 is a solution, negative 3, um, 6 is a solution, and all these other little numbers with fractions or decimals or something in between them are also solutions. Lots of solutions to this one equation. But since we have a system of equations, we want to find the one solution that's also a solution to the other equation, so we're going to graph it as well. Now, Graphing it works exactly the same way. To find the x-intercept, we let y be 0. If y, if the y part is 0, we know negative x is 3. And if the opposite of a number is 3, that number has to be the opposite of 3, negative 3. So x is negative 3. And then to find the y-intercept, our x part has to be 0. So this part in the equation just gets replaced by a 0. We have 3 times y is 3. Well, 3 times what is 3? 3 times 1 is 3. So y has to be 1. Then we have two points on the graph of this line. And I graph those points. See, negative 3, 0 is over 3, up 0, right there on our graph. And then the y-intercept is going to be 0, 1. That's over 0, up 1 from the origin, right there on our graph. And, and now we have a bunch of solutions for this equation as well. So not only would negative 3, 0 be a solution, 0, 1 is a solution, um, 3, 2 is a solution, 6, 3 is a solution. Any point on this line is a solution to this second equation. Now what we're interested in is the one point that's a solution to both equations, right? And it's this point right here where the two lines cross. That's the only point that's on both lines. So it's the solution to the system of equations. And it looks like it is, let's see, over 3 up 2, so the point is 3, 2. Um, I hope this helps. Bye.